And that's how it started. It had at the home of Andrew Harris. It started off with 151 people. Andrew Harris, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Andrew Harris. And uh, he, uh, he and I, uh, you know, uh, he allowed me to use his home, because at that time I was living with him, mm -hmm. uh, to use his, his home as, as the first white party or the white attire fair. Mm -hmm. And he drew 131 people. And the next year, we had 250. And then the third white attire fair was held at Casey uh, Ortiz's home. We had 350 people. It was crazy. Wow. And then wow. I said, I don't know. It's like at, that, at a house, it's like, I don't yeah. know if we can hold this many people, uh, yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll just make do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so the Richie started um, uh, with uh, my brother testing positive for HIV. Uh, some folks usually ask, okay, why Alsura? Well, Alsura, again, you know, I promised my friend Patrick Cahosey when he passed away that I was going to continue the struggle, but I felt that I had to do it in a, in a, in a, um, in a more... Uh, a linear way, meaning that I had to get it back to the people, mm -hmm. because I felt that people wanted me to say, you know what, this event is great, but we want to reconnect to it right. again, and I promised Patrick Cahosey, um, you know, that I would do that for him, um, and he passed away, he passed away March 24th of this year, 2008. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. Yeah. Uh, Yuma was for Mark, now Asura is for Patrick. I'm gonna, and I promise them, and I, I'm going to make sure that I, I continue doing what, what God wants me to do. When God uh, has a purpose, you have to work your purpose. Right. Um, well, for the White Attire Fair, proceeds have often gone to, we're going to say, HIV and AIDS organizations in um, the local community in D.C. Um, this year, where do the proceeds are plan on going to? What is else are plan on giving the proceeds to? Do you know? That's an excellent question because what we're trying to do now, the organization, uh, we're building infrastructure, mm -hmm. putting together letterhead, putting together the board, uh, having a, a fundraiser and uh, search for uh, folks who are interested in becoming a part of the board, coming up with board criteria. Ah. So the, all that has to be vetted out. So the first year is basically infrastructure, working with the Alphabet Initiative to assist with to assist uh, our sort of capacity building. Uh, right now, we're trying to get some seed money to okay. at least get us functioning right now. Um, we do have our uh, tax ID. We should be fully credentialed by October. And we should be ready to go. The website should be ready to go by then. Uh, and, and it's a work in progress because you're going to keep adding and adding and adding more uh, information onto it. Um, so I would say the first year's proceeds, I think it would just be to benefit Alsura, just mm -hmm. to get us off the ground. Okay. What, what I plan on doing is creating an RFP package and sending out to various organizations throughout Washington and, desi and have a designator, uh, designated organization by October. Hence, we'll have our Oktoberfest, mm -hmm. which will be another fundraiser where we will announce who next year's recipient of uh, the proceeds will be. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Well... I've been to the Wyatt Tire Fair before. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember going and seeing Alita Adams mm -hmm. and Shantae Moore was off the hook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's probably my favorite yeah. performance. Um, and also seeing Eva Pickford just walk the runway oh, was just amazing. Awesome. <laughs> and, I was oh like, my God, it's awesome. I like yeah. stood next to her and I felt like, I was like, it's it's wonderful. <laughs> but um, so this year, um, do you have anybody in mind that you would like to share? Well, I think, I think if anything, I have a theme in mind. Okay. And, uh, you know, usually the wide tire fairs always have a theme. Mm -hmm. uh, this year's theme, uh, I wanted to call it uh, the 2009 wide tire fair, a family reunion. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, that's a perfect. theme that I want to go with because it kind of reconnects people back to where we started. I think, you know, uh, with the wide tire fair not happening this year, mm -hmm. I think people... Uh, want to see something special happen. I think it's just reconnecting people and the family reunion just sort of like, you know, I ain't seen you in a while. Mm -hmm. And it's so glad, I'm so glad to see you. I want to give uh, a feeling of inclusiveness. Right. Not only just for gay and lesbian, but for our transgender brothers and sisters out there who, right. um, who are a part of our community, you know, and that's what it's all about. So right. I came up with the theme of family reunion. Well, what do you think is going to be the biggest challenge with, um, bringing the White Attire Fair back to to its roots and being here in D.C., like a, like a family reunion? Well, I think right now the biggest challenge from what I see is it's just financial. 
Um, I think I know I have the support. I'm not worried about the support. Mm -hmm. It's just really just making sure that uh, people support us financially, where we can, you know, get some seed money to begin the process of really putting this organization uh, on, on the on the on the forefront in the fight against HIV and AIDS. Uh, sponsorships, mm -hmm. of course, you know, put on a white type there. You're going to take corporate sponsors. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, what I'm doing is reaching out to certain folks um, within our community uh, to see if they can uh, get us some sponsorships. There are so many talented people uh, in our community. Uh, when I reached out to folks seven years ago and said, hey, I need your help, look what I got. So I'm asking right. it again. A lot of people in Washington, you know, have the wherewithal, have the finances, or they know someone, and they love this event. Mm -hmm. They know what I stand for. I think I'm not even worried. I'm just going to put God's going to finance this event. So God is our sponsor. Uh, ah, mm -hmm. So you know what? I'm putting it all on faith. You know, I can honestly tell you, do I know where we're going to go? I didn't know where we were going to go 10 years ago, but you know what? We're going to give it a hell of a shot. All right. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. But speaking of um, speaking of putting your faith in someone, <laughs> who are you going to be wearing for the Ride of Tire Fair? Like, what are you going to be wearing? Do you have your outfit already made? Or do you have it <laughs> pre-made? Do you have to pre-order? Because let me know, because I need a deal. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you this. I don't have my outfit made, but I think you better start getting your outfit made. Oh. <laughs> I, I believe that the, the, I'm really excited because once we send out the press releases and everything, mm -hmm. everybody's already going to be thinking, why are you sending out the press release in August? Let's do it Let me do it for 2009. Yeah. Everybody's going to be getting ready for next year. Right. Like, let's everybody's going to be getting ready for next year. So that's the, that's the exciting thing about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you, are you taking anybody with you? I mean, are you, do you have a date? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd like to take... Um, Let's see, I have a couple of folks in my mm -hmm. cell phone. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody that we know? Well, you, know, <laughs> you, know you, you know I gotta keep my stuff. I don't know. I don't know. But, love. <laughs> <laughs> but well, uh, I like to bring my family because the theme of it is a family reunion. Okay. And I like to bring my twin brother. And really? I also like to invite uh, Patrick Ahosi's brother, Dominic, right. to the event because. Um, like I said, those are two of the drivers that are pushing me to do what I do. Yeah. Well, that's that's very powerful. <laughs> I understand that. I um, so what is the message that people should take after attending the White Attire Fair? What is the message that they should take home with them? Well, I think the message people should take with them uh, is a couple of things. One, that you know, that D.C. right now, just in the city of Washington D.C. alone, it's an epidemic. Two, we need to be very, very mindful that this disease is does not discriminate regardless of who you are and where you live. It crosses mm -hmm. all economic boundaries. Mm -hmm. I think people need to take with them that uh, they are not alone in the struggle, that there is messaging out there, that uh, there is an organization that is greatly concerned about what's happening in the African American community with uh, HIV and AIDS. I think uh, they should take with them that how can they get involved in philanthropic uh, ventures like the Wyatt Tire Fair? How can they use their talent to get the word out? You know, our community has so many talented people, and there are so many people in our community that really want to use their talent, mm -hmm. but no one's never approached them. Right. So a lot of times, like if you approach, if 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 you have volunteers, you ask one question why they don't volunteer. The first thing they'll say, no one's asked me. Mm. Nine out of ten times, you have somebody to volunteer, they'll say, okay. Because we have people, we work our jobs every day, but we want to give back to the community. And whether it's marketing, finances, or whatever, we all have a talent right. that we can contribute. So uh, the takeaway, I would like them to be very mindful that it's an epidemic. What impact are they going to make in their community uh, philanthropically? What are they going to do? How can they make it a positive impact in their community and getting the message out? And then three, you know, um, just using their talent. What talent can they bring? You know, it doesn't always have to be money. Mm -hmm. Your time is your money. You know, right. uh, just donating your talent and getting people involved in this event and, and, and behind this organization. Well, um, wow, that says a lot. It's <laughs> a lot. It's a tall order, and you know, people say, you know, how do you do it? And, right. But when I look at people and, and their suffering, that's what I'm doing is nothing compared to what they're going through. Who have you know, um, you know, health issues? Right. Uh, they're trying to survive. They're trying to make a living. 
Uh, they have so many things that they have. They have challenges.